Hi, this is Eileen. In this video, I'm going to share with you four steps on how to construct perpendicular bisector of a line. Let's take a look at step one. You need to adjust your compass to slightly more than half of the line that you're bisecting. So right now, we have this line called A, B. I'm going to do a little bit of estimation. So the width I have already adjusted to slightly more than half. So step number two, we're going to place the needle point of the compass at point B and we're going to draw an upper arc followed by a lower arc. Step three, you're going to repeat the process again without changing the width of your compass. Now needle point is at point A draw upper arc and a lower arc step four we're going to join the two intersection point between the arcs so the line that we have drawn here this is what we call our perpendicular bisector of a b how do I know I have done it accurately, correctly? What you can do is go ahead and measure your line AB. So my line is 14 cm. So I can see that my perpendicular bisector cuts at 7 cm. So it cuts line AB exactly into two equal parts. Now knowing to construct your perpendicular bisector is important but more importantly do you understand what is the significance of this perpendicular bisector do you know that any point on this perpendicular bisector is equidistant to your point a and b what do i mean by that so for example this point here if you go ahead and measure the distance between this point on the perpendicular bisector to point a and you go ahead and measure from that particular point to point B they are the same in conclusion any points on the perpendicular bisector of AB is equidistant to point A and point B this is how we construct our perpendicular bisector thank you